This time we prepared harder questions. I don't think 60 seconds will be enough. Let's start. Could the Quran be written by a human or not? There's many examples and proof that the Quran is the rightful book. Are you able to give scientific proofs? Some argue against the scientific miracles in the Quran and that you forcefully make these conversations. How do you respond? A question came from the editor. Some argue the miracles in the Quran were known in the Sumerian times. Do you have anything to say? You have 60 seconds for each question. This time we have prepared harder questions. I don't think 60 seconds will be enough. You said so in previous videos, but let's start. Could the Quran be written by a human or not? How do we know the Quran is the true holy book? We can count hundreds of examples in this regard. For example, the best person to describe a phone is the phone's engineer, right? Similarly, likewise, the Quran is the most accurate source to provide information about the universe and humans. Naturally, it's the true holy book. We can see a lot of surprising information about the Quran from different perspectives. When we consider Quran's unseen miracles, it provides us with unknown information from the past and the future. It can astonish people and writers with its rhetoric and eloquence, with the aim of proving the Quran's superiority over any work. Quran says that this is impossible to achieve, and these are all proof for centuries. Even though the Quran is 600 pages long. The fact that it is memorized by millions with different languages as well as different age groups is proof that the Quran is the true holy book or the fact Quran came down over 23 years but is considered a whole and no inconsistency exists proves the truth. The fact that the Quran came down to an illiterate, could neither read nor write person is a proof. The Quran is relevant to every century and society, offering the best knowledge, guidance, and solutions. It conveys information to the minds, hearts, and souls in the most convincing and satisfying way. There's dozens more. It's the age of science. We're in the 21st century. Can you provide us scientific evidence, proof from the Quran? Whether there's scientific data or not in the Quran, it won't matter. The points we have mentioned is already evidence the Quran is the true holy book. If a person can't refute any of these proofs, which he definitely can't, then we've already proven the Quran is true. But if you ask if there is scientific info, there are many. We've already mentioned these in previous past videos. The Quran mentions about astronomy, anatomy, biology, and embryology. So yes, the Quran contains many signs and proofs for new inventions. Can you give an example of scientific miracles? We can find numerous examples that astound people. For example, Surah al dhariya verse 47. And the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. The expansion of the universe wasn't known at that time. In contradiction, it was believed to be static, even in Newton's time. The expansion of the universe was discovered in 1929 with the Hubble telescope. The fact that the Quran mentioned it 14 centuries ago proves that a human couldn't have had such knowledge. Only Allah, who has sovereignty of the universe and knowledge that it's expanding, can make such a statement. We can easily see the Quran is true with this scientific sign. Some argue against the scientific miracles in the Quran, and there are those who say that you forcefully make these conversations. Also, they claim expansion in this verse is referred to the breadth of Allah's mercy and power. What's your thoughts? To say this is to ignore dozens of evidences. In fact, there are dozens of examples of verses like this, not just this verse. Is each verse being declared by coercion? We say it with Arabic grammar. I can already find the meaning in the Arabic language. Awsa'a, its root word, wasama'a banaynaha bi'aydi wa inna la mu'si'un. Mu'si'un word, awsa'a, comes from this root. The meaning is broad, but there's something unknown. The verse's layers in meaning are unknown. The Quran verses have a wide range of meanings. There's an apparent, clear meaning and disclosed, explained meanings. So what we do is, in addition to the apparent meaning, it's point to different times where new meanings can be detracted. It may seem as a meaning making by force if a person doesn't understand the disclosed meanings along with the apparent meaning at the time. The Quran's meaning layer is extremely broad, demonstrating the Quran is timeless. You answered well, but I didn't get my answer. I mentioned the breadth issue. Yes, the issue of breadth also falls within the scope of this verse. 
When the meaning is analyzed, it may have indicated that the universe expanded in the meaning for this period. So a person can accept both the expansion of Allah's power and the universe expansion at the same time. As we have mentioned in this verse, Allah may have meant both the apparent meaning and the hidden meaning. Those who say you deduce meanings by force are those who are unaware that the verses have such a broad scope and that there are multiple layers of meaning. The editor is asking a question. Should I read it? Doesn't matter. Here. Some argue the miracles in the Quran were known in the Sumerian times, period. Do you have anything to say? This is a frequently asked question. Firstly, I didn't confirm the authenticity of this info, so I don't know if there's any evidence. But it won't matter even if it was. Is there a claim in the Quran stating this is the first time this info is revealed? Of course not. The important thing is the accuracy of the information in the Quran. Can we deny its truth? No. Even if it was stated previously, this won't affect the accuracy. Besides, we believe as 124,000 prophets came, naturally, it's normal for prophets who came before our prophet, peace be upon him, give correct, accurate information. Prophets give correct informations. So, the same knowledge coming prior to the Quran makes no difference. It makes no impact, no effect to the Quran being the true book. I also want to say, there are thousands of claims found in history. Should we say then that the Quran always chooses only claims that are put forward as true? Only the all-knowing can judge between right and wrong. This book must have been sent by the one who knows all times and dates. Besides, everyone knows that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was an illiterate. Neither could read nor write. It was impossible for him to access and read the Sumerians' information. It's known that Sumerian tablets were interpreted later. Claiming that the info was stolen from them is only a way of denying the truth. If in the future science says something else, then what will you say? Yes, science is variant, changeable. We don't claim science provides definitive answers. Science constantly changes and develops, but the Quran does not. Allah's knowledge is true and correct. As I said, the verses in the Quran have many layers of meaning. Apart from the apparent meaning, we say that these may be one of the meanings that were pointed at to be discovered in this period. If science evolves in the future, this won't change the apparent meaning. Only the interpretations in the hidden meanings change. For example, the ayah regarding iron, Surah Al-Hadid, verse 25. وَأَنزَلْنَا hadid There, it means, and we sent down iron. The meaning of iron being sent as a blessing. We already know that this will not change in the future. In other words, the meaning of using it as a blessing, to construct a car, to make a fork. This won't change, but the interpreted meaning as a scientific miracle may change with new discoveries, but the Quran will remain flawless. What do you say to those who say there are scientific errors in the Quran? Quran contains no scientific errors. This is impossible because Allah is the creator of the universe. It states in a verse, Al-Mulk 14, Ala ya'lamu man khalaq. Does he who created not know while he is the subtle, the aware? Let's say that science contradicts the Quran. Now there is no such thing, but let's say it will happen. We must accept science is constantly changing. One day it names something A, the next it may be B. The Quran is a revelation. It's certain. It doesn't change. We already know this with hundreds of proofs. Let's say about 200 years ago, there was a finding accepted by the entire science world. They accepted the universe was fixed and eternal, infinite. While the entire scientific world accepted this, the Quran said that the universe had a beginning. It means that there was a period when it has contradicted science. But what happened next? They discover something else, and the entire science world accepts a new idea, claiming a beginning that we call the Big Bang. As a result, science returns to what the Quran says. As Badir Zaman says, as time gets older, the Quran will get younger. Since the Quran contains all scientific subjects and you claim that it is certain, let scientists read the Quran and find science there. It's necessary to know the principal meaning of the Quran. The Quran gives importance to meaning rather than matter. Instead of telling us the degree and distance of the sun, it tells us the function of the sun, the purpose of its creation and its relationship with its creator. The Quran is not a math, science or physics book. This is not the purpose. Rather, it enlightens questions like, where did I come from? 
Where am I going? What's my purpose? What's the actual meaning of the universe I see? It gives meaning beyond matter. It also points to material world as well as scientific discoveries. It refers to them with hidden inner meaning. This meaning should not be confused. While the Quran reveals secrets of the universe, it also provides insight into the properties of matter and new inventions through inner meanings. We cannot say why the Quran does not explicitly mention scientific miracles. For example, why doesn't the Quran mention penguins? This is also a frequently asked question. As we said, Quran isn't a zoology book. It's a book about the meaning of creation. Nothing incomprehensible. 